Okay, so we ended up getting the downside that we were looking for pretty much right on the dot. We ended up getting the Golden Cross and we're even coming up to a buy daily Golden Cross too. Several other things, several other metrics actually pulling up too. The weekly time frame, the bi-weekly time frame, Silver Cross is all realizing. Let's go ahead and go over those details for tomorrow now. What is up, you guys? Thank you so much for stopping by once again. This is Arca coming at you with the FNGR technicals and raw price action threat of analysis on this happy Thursday, right? Before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share the video with a friend so that you and them could consider joining our trading community in Discord called Arca Bulls. With that said, let's dive right into the charts. Okay, team, so we are looking at FNGR here on the daily chart. And as you can see here, our algorithm gave us that golden cross notification that we in fact got it on the daily time frame, just like we were talking about, right? Pretty much on the day too. Uh, so the price action, as you can see, it, it reacted, right? It moved to the upside. Let's get rid of this box now. And uh, yeah, so the pr price pretty much reacted towards the upside. But remember, please remember that we were speaking of before that upside, we were talking about a retracement. Let me remind you, okay, so that it's uh, 2 spot 618 at 556. We said that we could have a probability between 548 and 542. Okay, so the, the, total, the total range for us to be able to get long this asset, the opportunity was between 542 and 556. And look what the price action did today. So it retraced. This is the low, remember, for the OHLC for the open high low close. And you can see that we retraced to 552. Right, so pretty much just under the two spot 618 before a continuation to the upside. Very impressive times, very accurate times. I'm loving what I'm seeing. Okay, team. So now let's go ahead and uh, touch down with a couple of other things here because I want to show you now the buy daily time frame. Right, so go ahead and notice that the buy daily time frame Golden Cross is also starting to happen. Right, so this is going to be uh, this is essentially uh, converging now. So I see this probably crossing by maybe Wednesday next week uh just similarly to what happened uh to what happened uh with, with the daily golden cross so we're we're on our way to that and it's very impressive okay so i like what we're seeing here team and uh, also notice that the volume profile is suggesting an incline in volume while price action is also uh moving towards that upside that is an incredible that is an incredible piece of news right here right because we are uh essentially validating a continuation to the upside OK, so let's go ahead and move on to the next chart here, because during the live stream, OK, if you were if you were uh, up in Adam with us, 630 in the morning, we were already looking at this. We were already looking at this pennant. Right. So take a look at this. And I and I personally am seeing it from the three hour chart. OK, we also went over all these targets. Everybody, you know, the whole team alive, they already know all this. Right. They, they for for hours and hours and hours, they know this. All right, and we're talking about right now the the markets just uh, no the markets are actually still moving right now, uh, so it's three thirty p.m. Pacific time. Just so that you are uh, aware of what's happening, right? So uh, we were speaking of a potential drop here and then a lift off to come and validate the top side of this pennant, right? Which would essentially be around five eighty seven. The the current price action has taken us as high as five eighty five eighty two right it's curious that it's saying 582 oh right here we're testing the resistance right now it's a tiny little candle there that's the uh geez that's the birth of the candle sorry about that let me just go ahead and show you right over here that's where the candle is okay so we're we're testing a resistance here and what i did mention is is that if we were, if we were going to get a shot at breaking out it would actually happen maybe around uh, I'd say I'd say maybe 4:30 or close to 5 p.m. my time, where the after-hour session would close. We have three different targets to look at per three different types of bulls trading this. Right, first of all, the target that we have from the top side of the triangle, the highest point, all the way to the all the way to the bottom side there, the center of the triangle. Right, is the other location, and of course the the breakout area of the triangle where we're expecting it to break out from. So let's go ahead and put those right back in. And what we're looking at here is the first target of, let's see, 
about six dollars and thirteen cents. That naturally tells me that it's going to be a range between six thirteen and six eighteen, right? So the six eighteen was perfectly the the uh, resistance that we faced from this candle. We said we were going to touch six the the, the space between six eighteen and six thirty. We touched six eighteen dead on the money uh, the following day, right? So that's uh, that's essentially the first target that we're looking at. The second target from the center of the triangle, the third of the or the second set of bulls, whatever you want to, however you want to call it has a top side of 640. Naturally, that gives us 630 to 640 as the area of uh, the area of resistance, right? Particular to our resistance uh, range, the uh, discretionary resistance range. And uh, now the next target that we're looking for is the highest one, and that would be around a target of about $6.85. Okay, so uh, I guess we can also validate this with the... Uh, uh, with a with a fib, I guess, right? Well, let's just go ahead and take a a, a full on swing high to swing low. Uh, target there, and uh, yeah, so this uh, is suggesting for us to come up to six eighty five. We have six ninety one at the one spot six one eight. Very uh very accurate times here, team. I I definitely like what I'm what I'm seeing. And uh, if if you uh I mean notice that I took it from here to here, right? The uh the fib, and please take a look at the price action from today. Right, we came all the way back down to the area of about five dollars. Then uh, what was it? The low of uh, five fifty-eight. Right, so five fifty-eight uh, just so happens to be right upside of the not three eight two. And if you are familiar, of course, you already know. If you're one of my master students, if you're part of the team, you already know that the golden pocket is a very bullish area to be in. Check it out. We are getting we are getting the breakout out of the out of the not six one eight right now. Very good signal. Okay, team. So this uh, could be making a pretty nice move to the upside tomorrow. So let's just go ahead and keep an eye on this. Uh, full transparency. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm long this, of course, right? <laughs> I also express this uh, this knowledge to the to the traders live too. Okay, team. So the resistance ranges that we are looking at are still consistent to this range here. Okay, so tomorrow there is a probability that we can hit uh, the targets upside of six forty six to seven eighteen. Uh, 717 sorry with a focus on 683 and uh, it looks like uh, the 717 target that we're looking at as a top side has a lot to do with the 691 that we're facing from this chart right over here right here we go 691 and that would be 717 right up here so then that, that already gives us a whole range right anywhere between the areas of 685 which is the 683 focus that I'm giving you that, which is very curious because this is the the uh, top side of the triangle all the way to the bottom side. This is giving you that target of 685 and the focus that we're looking for is 683 right there. Okay, so everything is lining up pretty nicely. Then this I do see this as a higher probability resistance range that we could be facing potentially tomorrow. All right, team. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this. This is the bi-weekly time frame. And what you're looking at here is a silver cross potential. So that's going to be uh, consistent of the exponential moving average 21 period crossing over the EMA 55 uh, period. Right. So that would be a very bullish statement coming out of uh, FNGR, especially since we're looking at this on the bi-weekly time frame. That's a macro time frame. And it would suggest a continuation to the upside in uh in a pretty glorious manner, so I, I would, um, I would uh, express, <laughs> I would express right now some caution to the shorts that this is, uh, this is uh, set to make some pretty, some pretty nice moves. I, I that's all I can really say. It, it's pretty. It's, uh, yeah, that's all. That's all I can really say. It's just it's gonna be making some serious uh, upside if this, uh, if the metrics are correct. Right. And you already know that we've been looking at this uh, formation, too. Right. This is the uh, broad, the descending broadening wedge. And uh, it looks like we are already making that making that validation of support. And we are continuing on to the upside, too. Right. That's looking very promising. Please remember that the uh, playbook rules, the traditional rules here for trading up for trading a, a descending broadening wedge. You actually have that take profit located right at the genesis of the formation. And that target that we're getting from the Genesis is about twelve dollars and eighty three cents. That's uh, very consistent with a lot of things, in fact. So uh, we can actually double check that too. Twelve, uh, 
twelve dollars and eighty three cents. Is that what it said? Okay. Well, I mean, the four spot six one eight is not quite reaching there, but that's already at at about twelve bucks. So, not bad. Good deal. Yeah. If you if you guys are uh, curious over what we're doing on the live situation or the live session, sorry, come by. It's a uh, live streaming on YouTube. I'm uh, I'm there pretty much around anywhere between six. Uh, 6.30, 6.45 in the morning for the uh, intraday trading. Okay, team, uh, just definitely come on by and witness it for yourself. So now the, the, uh, the correlation chart between GTII and uh, FNGR just got a little bit stronger today. And that's in respect to the, uh, uh, to the upside that we were facing closer to the end of the day on FNGR, right? So uh, the, it, it's, a, it's a very good thing, actually, because... We were looking at a chop zone here that we've been trapped in for a while on GTII, and we're finally uh, breaking up side of it. The range of that chop zone was actually uh, the bottom side of 8098 to 8752. Price action right now is at 8799. So this could be an indication or a clear indication that we could be pulling back ever so slightly to the range between 8703 and uh, 8752 before a potential continuation to the upside, first of all to look at some resistances or the range between 91.19 and about 93.34. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just draw that book there. Uh, I'm sorry, that uh, resistance range there. It's like this. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much consistent with what's happening within uh, FNGR2. I am definitely looking at a continuation to the upside. If we do get a short-term pullback, we'll go ahead and evaluate that now. And uh, yeah, for the newcomers, go ahead and take a look at this. This is the bi-monthly time frame. And what we're looking at here is the Gaussian band. What was that? I think my freaking cat just got behind my desk. Damn it. All right. So, and uh, notice here that FNGR is currently sitting at 593. This thing is pushing to the upside even still. Okay, very nice. We were just at 583 or 585 a little bit ago. Okay, so uh, what you're looking at here is a potential macro breakout. Okay, so we, we uh, are finally coming outside of this uh, Gaussian band. We came back to that area of 538, 540 several times. That was several reminders, too, that we're getting long in that area there uh, for a potential move to the upside, which can lead to some nice gains, right? So, And uh, we have been. Actually, we, we, we've been uh, entering, exiting, entering, exiting, all while holding the bag on the right holding the permanent bag and then you have the uh the short-term bags so all of that team hedging against the bag too so let's go ahead and take a look at uh the rsi and this would be the last part of the analysis here please notice that we do have uh i mean <laughs> this is pretty much vertical here for the 30 minute time frame rsi hourly time frame by the way uh so let's look at the th yeah 30 minutes same situation right <laughs> huge upside and this uh uh, the RSI signal is now entering the bullish control zone, the bull strength percentile, right? And uh, now the buy hourly time frame also just made a, a bullish cross upside of the SMA 14 and currently sitting in the in the gravitational zone of the bull weakness percentile. Very very likely for this to get pulled to the upside. And uh, I, I do I do have to see a little. I mean I see a little bit of resistance coming in. I uh, I mean, there's a little weakness coming in here too. Where that that would be the the uh, bull strength percentile, but it's also the gravitational zone here. So a couple of resistances being faced here. So that yeah, that gravitational zone and the SMA 14, and before we can pull back, right? So that that's a uh, I feel like it's a normal normal thing. Okay, so if we do pull back, I can see this supporting from the gravitational zone down here and bouncing right back up, just like it has been. Right. So uh, and then we'll evaluate whatever's happening within within the uh, SMA 14 at that time. This is the uh, four hour chart or the four hour RSI. Right. So now looking at the eight hour RSI, you can see here that we've already used. And I think we talked about this just yesterday that we were uh, highly likely going to use the support of the SMA 14 and the gravitational zone before a bounce to the upside. Uh, similar situation to the daily. I think we also talked about this, too. So gravitational zone and SMA 14 bounce to the upside. So the uh, the thing here is that the three-day time frame is still showing some consolidation. Five-day time frame is already is showing some upside, right? So the shorter time frames, uh, like like we were talking about, team, this is already starting to cascade into each other, right? So now we have 
the uh, the thirty minute cascading into the hourly and the and the the bi hourly, right? So now uh, the ones that need to catch up are for sure just the three hour and four hour, right? So the three hour is now making a a, a cross upside of the SMA fourteen, and the four hour appears to be next. Okay, so I think I see everything moving towards the upside, which is a very very good thing. Okay, team. So uh, yeah, yeah, team. Please remember to uh, never take anything which I show within these videos as a form of uh, financial advice, okay? Do not take it as that because this is just for entertainment purposes only. I need you to do, uh, well, actually, yeah, I can't I can't even suggest for you to buy or sell or hold or anything, okay? Don't do that, don't do that. But yeah, with that said, team, everything's cool. I'll catch you at the bell manana. Adios.